Well, good morning. It is a warm and muggy one out there today as we start off in the upper 70s. Currently, as you look at the Syntax Roof Systems camera at the Kralim Regional Airport, you can see a little bit of haze on the sky there. That is Saharan dust that's worked into our atmosphere. If you're someone that has a sensitive respiratory system, this may cause a few issues for you. If not, you're mainly just going to see a milkier look to the sky like you see here, along with some more vibrant orange sunsets that could be on the way here today. The other story, the heat that's going to be around, although right now we're actually starting off cooler than we did yesterday. We're in the mid 70s currently partially because we have drier air that's in place dew points that are in the lower 70s along the I-35 corridor still mid 70s though along and east of I-35 and that's where the temperatures will combine with that humidity to lead to some dangerous afternoon heat feel like numbers could run around 105 to 107 and that's why we have a heat advisory in effect along and east of I-35 still even if you aren't under it you need to act like you are and take your heat precautions plenty of water try to limit that time outside if you can do it to be out in the heat of the day. Frequent breaks in the shade. We'll start in the upper 70s today, heading into the mid 90s by noon. Later on this afternoon, closer to 102. That fill light number could be around 105 to 107. So another hot one. No rain expected now, but we will see rain chances go up. More on that in just a little bit. As far as how today's concerned in your neighborhood, it'll look like this. 102 in Bell Mead today. 101 in Hewitt. 102 in China Spring. We'll call for 100 in Temple. 101 in Salado. 101 on Fort Cavazos, Colleen, and Harker Heights, and across the rest of Central Texas. 99 to 100 looking pretty common. And remember, along and east of I-35, could see some 105s to 107 for your fill like temperatures. Barrel still a category five. 165 mile per hour winds now. That's come up with the latest advisory. It's going to continue to move off to the west, nearing Jamaica by Wednesday as a Category 3 storm, and then eventually the Yucatan Peninsula by the time we get into Friday as a Category 1 storm. Then it'll cross over, and we'll have to watch as it gets into the Gulf of Mexico. Some models want to take this up into the Lone Star State. Even if that does happen, it's going to be fighting a lot of shear. So don't expect a Category 5 storm by any means. It will just be something we have to watch closely. And if if it does try to make it in the Lone Star State, our rain chances will go up, which will happen anyway because this high pressure backs off to the east, opening up an avenue for that system to come up here. We will have a little cold front trying to work on the backside of it as well, bringing us some rain chances here by the middle of the weekend on into next week. We'll call for 102 today, 100 tomorrow, 100 on Thursday, 99 on Friday. Temperatures in the mid to upper 90s going through the weekend into next week with those storm chances hanging around. And in the Brazos Valley, more of the same, 100 to 98. Temperatures in the mid 90s next week. Still ahead, we'll take a look at the latest poll numbers following the first president.